again guys, same process as ever, we're max on either side. Take a show of hands please, and we'll set embargo part way through for 10.30 this evening. Start with Pete please. Pep, good afternoon, happy new year. Happy new year. You well? I would say yes. <laughs> what do you think? The, um, the result against Everton was, uh, was a little disappointing, I know, for you, but you now have a, a big chance to reduce that gap on Arsenal. A lot of your fans will see it that way. What, what are your thoughts on the, on the game at Chelsea now? Tough game, tough sight. Well managed. Uh, Stamford Bridge, what would I say? It doesn't matter the position you are when you travel there, always is difficult. But in the same time, looking forward this week, uh, but these next two weeks for different competition, but especially in the Premier League, the next three games. But do you see it as a good opportunity to claw those points back? Now Arsenal have dropped points last night. The way you had to to reduce the gap is play good and winning games. So it's not for the fact. So they have an average for them. They're going to do 100 or 100 more than 100 points, Arsenal, in the way it has done so far. If they continue that way, we will not catch them. So you have to be almost perfect, I would say, to hear from, from, from the fin of the season. I expect that they drop a little bit his performance because yesterday was excellent against Newcastle again. So and we'll see what happens. There seemed to be quite a bit of tension on, on, in, on the touchline towards the end of the game. Um, you're 52, I think, in a couple of weeks' time and looking OK uh, for 52. Thank um, you. How, how easy is it for you to still deal with all that tension and all that drama? Do, do you feel a little bit more experienced, a little bit more better for you to deal with now? Well, as much you don't lose the respect for, for everyone. Listen, football is an emotion game and it's not just for the fans or for the players, for the managers, sometimes it happens. As much you, you don't lose much of control or respect, of course, the opponents, officials, of course, you have to express your feelings. Otherwise, we'll be bored. But do you find that a little bit easier because you're a little bit older, a bit wiser? No, I don't think so. For the fact you get older doesn't mean you will be wiser. It's not an uh, action reaction. And what about, um, what about Chelsea? Halfway down the Premier League, have they surprised you this season? They seem to, seem to be struggling a little bit. It's Premier League. Everyone is tough. So That's why the prediction at the beginning of the season, when you was in our first press conference, you say, how is your prediction? What was my answer? I don't know. So nobody knows. Nobody expects what happened this season. And... And we will see what happens until the end. After World Cup, many things are going to happen. Pep, do you, you've got a lot of matches coming up against the, what people would regard as the bigger teams in the Premier League, either, either in the FA Cup or other cup competitions. Do you, do you think that your team gives its best when they play these better teams? Because you've beaten... Uh, Liverpool, you beat Chelsea. They're, it was a little bit harder against Everton and Brentford. Is it is it better for your team at the moment that you meet a team who tries to attack you or take you on? Except Brentford game, the other ones were better than the opponent. All all the games this is my feeling, but uh, this is about the results, and the people expect that uh, what we have done. Uh, it's never easy when a team set back for a long, long time, just waiting one action. Yeah, it's more difficult. Always have been and always will be, but you have to find a solution. And we found them in the recent years. Otherwise, we couldn't achieve what we achieve. So everyone can approach you the whatever they want. You have to find the different way. Um, but in Everton, I'm not completely disappointed or sad or upset about what we have done, completely the opposite. Uh, yeah, we have a little details, margins, and we have to improve against this type of teams at defence set back, and hopefully we can do it in the next games when we face te teams in this way. Can I ask you about Bernardo Silva as well? He, um, over the last few years, has been such an important player for you. Is he still the same player? He was talking again 
Uh, I don't know when he gave the interview, but he's talking again about his future, and then he's been on the bench a couple of times. I just wondered what role he has within your team at the moment and what form he is in. You think? He's a key player, an important, so important player, and on and off the pitch. A guy who can talk. And always we talk with Bernard, always a nice conversation. Always you learn something about his humanity, about his vision in the team of for the Premier League or the club. He's an incredible, reliable player in the, against top sides, an important, important player games, in, in decisive games, always is there. Um, nothing changed uh, about his future, belongs to him. I've um, kind of touched on it, but Chelsea, United, Arsenal twice in the next six... Sorry, Spurs twice in the next six weeks, Arsenal. Is this kind of six weeks season-defining for City? Six weeks. Or many weeks. You say in two games. Yeah, six weeks, many things are going to happen, yeah, for sure. Six weeks, a lot of weeks. Even we already we have not finished the first leg. So many things is going to happen, this is my feeling. For all clubs, all teams, so we see. This kind of period now is, is when we've seen in the past City go on big runs, 13, 14 wins or, or long unbeaten stretches. Obviously, goals help that on the pitch. What do you notice off the pitch in your team that kind of clicks, changes, that helps those runs happen from kind of this point in? I said many times, when we were able to do not once, many times, these big, big runs of winnings, never thought about the big runs of winning. He just thought, next game, Chelsea, and then after the next one. So knowing that every game now is difficult for the quality for the opponents, uh, focusing tomorrow London, what do you have to do? Hi, Pep. Um, there was a report that Rico Lewis um, the club might be preparing to offer him a new contract, which clearly underlined the impression he's made. How well do you, you think he's doing? And has he exceeded how, how well you thought he'd do? About the contract, I'm not the person involved, so I don't know the decision of the club. Uh, about what he has done the last three games was beyond my expectations. Uh, the top sides, big pressure. How good he played. We we'll review the games. Every action he does, defensively in the air box, for example, or in the smaller spaces inside, or when get the ball outside, everything is well done. Everything. Uh, he has the ability to read the situations every time in one fraction of a second, and always the decision is good. And he never react after, always anticipate the things with without the ball. He's so intelligent player, so intelligent. Uh, he can play in, in different positions. Uh, so we are the light. The academy produce another, another top quality player, and hopefully he can stay with us for a long, long time. Okay. And just team news-wise, how are Laporte and Diaz? Uh, the other is uh, Ruben is out, uh, and uh, and uh, I may will see today this afternoon the training session. Is that the embargo of 10 minutes to save and play starts? 